Hey guys, Dotson Geist here with Marine Max Charleston. I am standing in front of a brand new 2019 315 Conquest from Boston Whaler. I would love to walk you guys through it. Just to start, look at the magnitude of this boat sitting in the trailer behind me. All white, black graphics to complement it. We've got the white rub rail stainless steel insert, as well as the white Verado 300s on the back there. This is a joystick boat. So it's got joystick piloting option, the sky hook, all those fun features for Mercury that it has to offer. We've got the Lumatech underwater lights there, trim tab standard. And if we uh, take a second, we'll walk you guys inside. Alrighty guys, now we're in the cockpit. I'm gonna show you how large this cockpit is, right? We can go fishing, we can go entertaining, we do whatever we want in this thing. We can have a dance party, right? So it's got a huge forward or aft cockpit that can easily convert. And I'm gonna walk you through the convertible side of it. We have a big mezzanine up here, a flip bolster, you pivot it, nice half seat. Well, how are you getting up there? Weather's thought of that. Pull that, now you have a big locked in step, right? Nice and secure. You can go up the nice step there off the side, but now I can watch my lines trolling or I can watch the kids jumping off the back of the boat. Not only does it do that, quickly stores back in. Tackle storage right here. Stack storage down there. Fishability, we can make those wider, we can make those smaller. On the port side here, you have a flip out seat as well as a huge aft seat. So now we have L shaped sectional seating in the back. There is a drop in table here that's stored down in the bilge. We'll walk you guys through that here in a second. But right now we're entertaining, right? Huge cockpit, aft sunshade, hand cranked out. All the way goes all the way to the transom. Now we have a fully enclosed cockpit from the from the uh, from the elements. We're gonna flip these back and show you this bilge access here. So whalers always always done a killer job finishing out their bilge areas. We have the Kohler gin set there. We have that big cockpit table there it's stored. It's got a faux synthetic teak on top, to give it that little old classic look. Easy access to all your pumps, filters, strainers. Simple, simple. And over here to the starboard side, just like the port side, we have fish boxes. And those go forward with macerator pumps, pump and ride reward. True fishing boat fashion, we have tow rails, right? End gunnel rod storage or gaff storage. Easily allow you to fish. Cup holders, rod holders in the gunnels. Walk through transom with lockable uh, door. Uh, we have the Spray lounge, or freshwater sprayer there, excuse me. Live well in the aft corner. All right, so now we're going to move up to the cockpit. Move up to the helm area. So right here, we do have the uh, the optional full enclosure kit. So we have panels that zip in here, and as well as a drop curtain that goes off the back. Full AC at the helm, fully enclosed, right? Climate controlled, perfect. We have a... Refrigerator on the starboard side here with freshwater sink. And again, another pull-out shower. Storage access to uh, get to our water pumps there. Charging ports off here to the starboard. Again, we're going to flip this mezzanine seat back. Now, we have our helm area. Storage, entertaining, all of the above. Right, so we've got a filler option here. This pulls out very easily. But as well, as if that seat's out, now I have a Corian counter that just deploys right off the side of the gunnel there. Grab rail there, integrated into the windshield. Oversized, extremely beefy, all incorporated into the hardtop frame. So it's all seamless. This helm seat swivels back in for the cap. Dual armrest, flip bolster. That slides forward and backwards. At the helm, we have the oversized 24-inch screen from Raymarine. Vessel view display, active trim. Uh, spotlight control, stereo control. This one does have the joystick. All of our lovely features from Mercury. Digital throttle and shift. Cup holders over here, as well as charge ports. And then my VHF off here into the corner. I'm going to walk you guys down to the cabin. As I'm walking through, I want you guys to show you the uh, window vent there. So it's full two-piece windshield with a vent there so I can get all the airflow in here as simple as I want. I'm gonna go down here in the uh, cabin. So now that we're down below, I do have the bow filler option on top. So this forward 
uh, uh, access to the bow there is a little bit shady at the moment. There's a drop filler cushion here. Click table that flips so I can walk in and out around with grab support as I go in. But this just simply pulls up and goes down. These cushions, as there, and we're gonna go down with it. And these cushions slide out and these fill in. And then just like the other side, it all becomes one big bed. But underneath there as well, big storage. All right, over here to the port side, we do have the cooktop, electric cooktop, storage below. Little cabinet, let a refrigerator, more storage in the gunnel, slide storage there. So again, there's plenty of storage and cabinetry, uh, microwave, TV right there. There is an aft cabin we would show you later, but we've got some of the uh, gear currently in the back. As you can expect, it's a nice roomy aft cabin. We have the head fully enclosed, closed off and plumbed, so you can use this as a shower or you can use it as a wet head. Um, we've got a vacuum flux, or excuse me, a uh, porcelain head upgrade there. Storage, as Sean is, or uh, Carl's showing you guys. Big mirror. Hey guys, we're gonna walk you back up, and I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite parts of the boat. Being as this one's, we've got this one equipped with the bow filler option, so we'll take you up front. I'm just kidding. I'm not on the Titanic. This is a big boat, but not that big. I wanted to show you guys how tall these rails are, guys. Knee height on me, six foot, not bad. Very secure, very easy to grab. Integrated windlass, stainless steel uh, anchor on the front, plow anchor, controls right there down in there. Rod holders in the front. This huge bow filler option. All right, this makes everything. This is gonna make mama happy, this make all the kids happy. Nice sunbathing, easy, easy. Windshield wipers right there on those two big single pane windows. That, that remote light up top. We got our radar mount up there, outriggers. Easy accessibility. As I move back, I've got a grab handle as I cruise back. This particular boat, we don't have it up right now, but we have an optional bow shade. So it mounts off the front and encapsulates this nice big bow area. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of our 315 Conquest. Again, my name's Dotson Geist with Marine Max Charleston. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach us out at 843-747-1889. Come visit us at Daniel Island. Thank you.